So, uh, what would you call this? Slice of heaven. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue you there, but this timing seems a little weird. Why? You you agreed to be my wife. You're you're wearing my ring. That's reason to celebrate to me. So, is this a, a post engagement, pre wedding getaway? It is whatever you want it to be. You're what I want. Every day. For the rest of my lives. So what are we doing today? Uh, well, for the uh, price of this hotel room, I sort of think we should just lay in bed all day. I want to go and hang out in the city. You mean hit up somewhere other than uh, Madison Avenue? Okay, I realize that a shopping spree is not your idea of a good time, but... No, look, I, I, I love that you want to give my mom a gift, but we don't have to hit up every store on the Upper East Side. She's going to be my mother-in-law. I want to make a good impression. You don't need any help in that department. She already loves you. I mean, every fight we have, she's on your side, not mine. Well, good. I want to keep it that way. <laughs> you think we'll fight a lot when we're married? Well, I don't know. We're both pretty strong-willed. I'm strong, I think, I think you're just a little bit stubborn. You're stubborn! No, Shut no. up! You're totally stubborn! The, the, the day it shakes, you wouldn't take no for an answer! I don't, I don't actually remember it like that at all. Really? No. You, you don't remember, uh, fighting both of my brothers? No, I remember I that. I don't do that for just, you know, any hot one. You don't? Are no. you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, I made sure she has to be smart and funny and beautiful inside okay. and out. So you figured all that out when they were kicking your yeah, ass? Yeah, I figured that out when they were kicking my ass. <sighs> I know what I want to do today. There's something I want to share with you. Thanks for doing that with me. I'm glad you asked. Have you ever been to the World Trade Center before 9-11? Uh, yeah, my, uh, my mom took me there to eat. Windows on the World when I was a kid. And 9-11, I was, I was at school when the news came in, and I just kept thinking about that time I was there, and I was looking at these buildings, I thought how impossible it was that they could fall. It's hard to imagine how much was lost until you see it in person. And all the names carved in stone. I knew some of those names from my neighborhood. Not the bankers or stockbrokers, but the policemen and firefighters. You just see them at the church or at the park with their families or in the bar using their uniforms to pick up girls. I mean, they, that's, they weren't saints, but they were doing a job they believed in. Like you believe in yours? Yeah. I'd like to think that if I had my badge back then, I, I wouldn't have thought twice about going into one of those buildings. Is that what this is about? Is this a test? How do you think I'm being paranoid? Uh, a little, but it's cute and endearing. It just, it occurred to me that a lot of the firefighters and cops left spouses behind and... I don't know, maybe you wanted me to ask myself if I could handle seeing your name written on a wall somewhere? It wasn't a test. I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted you to see that these people give the best of themselves and it's... So I need to emulate it, and it's an example to follow. Do you think that helps the families, knowing that they're heroes? Does that help them not miss them as much? I think they know that they died doing something that mattered, that they were trained for. We keep coming back to you dying and me being left behind. Look, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but not if it ruins you. Do you think I'm going to change my mind about marrying you? Are you? It was overwhelming to see the memorial today, and I just wonder if it'll ever be possible to visit that place and not feel the loss. I hope not. I got emotional when we were walking back. I know. I saw that. It's just, it's just that everything seems so normal, and people were just going to get their coffee, and... I'm sure that's exactly what it was like the morning that it happened. Everyone was thinking about the rest of the day. You know, 
they were running late or worrying about whatever and I just wonder if they knew it was their last morning, would they have appreciated life or called someone that they loved or... They didn't know. No one does. We just gotta make the best of the moments we do have. And stop counting the ways that we could lose each other and love each other in the moment. Thank you. I'm a glass half empty kind of person. I always see the downside before I see the good, so the more that I fell in love with you, the more afraid I was that it wouldn't last. But I think today I put it into perspective and it's a waste of time to worry about what might happen and let fear get in the way of happiness. We're gonna have our worries, you know? We just gotta pick each other up. So when you're scared, just hang on to me. I'm gonna hang on to you. I really hope that you know that I'm proud of you and what you do. And the risk that you take is just a reminder for me to treasure every moment because life is random and nothing is guaranteed and I'm lucky to have this time with you. Do you mean that? Absolutely. Then what? Why wait? Let's get married now. Are you serious? Yeah, this this is my serious face. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, this is crazy. What? Well, great, even better. Get married here, now. Yes, why not? It's New York. It's Christmas time. The whole city is blanketed in snow. It's lit up. It looks like it's lit up for us. What could be more romantic than that? Much. Then let's do this. Let's let's start the new year as husband and wife. Fuck. So you marry me tonight. Fuck. We've had an emotional day seeing the 9-11 memorial and the names of people that you know. It's obviously stirring up a lot of things like uh, thoughts about mortality and how we have to grab life and live it while we can. Right, right, we just, we just agreed on that. Right. The point that I'm trying to make is getting married uh, tonight might seem like a great idea now, not so much tomorrow. No, I, I can't wait to wake up in the morning and look over at you as my new wife. I mean, I have no doubt about that in my head or in my heart. It sounds like you might have some doubts. So no. Now's a good time to talk. I don't. It's not about marrying you. I'm just wondering why it has to be tonight. Why can't it be New Year's Eve? Or like Valentine's Day? Because we're here now. Committed to each other in the most amazing city in the world at Christmas time. What is better than that? I don't want to disappoint you. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not trying to back out. Are you sure? Imagine. Yes. Well, then what? I'm just thinking about our families. Like... Uh. Olivia, seriously, think about her. She would die if she didn't see her baby boy giving his wedding vows. I mean, your your wedding day is a big deal, and it's going to be one of the happiest days of your life. Do you really think she would be okay with missing that? She would probably never talk to me ever again, which might not be a bad thing. <laughs> but she would be really hurt. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you have a point. I will call my mother. I will tell her we'll do it tomorrow. That gives her plenty of time. What are we going to do tomorrow? Where are we going to have the ceremony? City there's, Hall is closed so for the holidays. There's hundreds of churches out there. Churches are doing Christmas ceremonies. I'm sure someone can fit us in. What are the chances? There's only one way to find out. Are you up for this or not? I'm in. That's a good answer. I told you it was helpless. No, nothing is helpless. We just need to regroup on plan B. Why don't you, uh, why don't you call Maxie? Maxie. Yeah, she's your best friend. She's got connections in okay. New York. Maybe she can hook First us up. of all, it's Christmas Eve. Even if I was willing to ask her to basically work the phone, she wouldn't get a hold of anyone. And secondly, if I mentioned the word wedding to her, it's already past the point of no return, and she's going to make it crazier okay. than we can handle. All right, all right. Yeah, I get Maxie's out. And what about Olivia? Um, she goes to church a lot, so maybe she has an in with a priest or something. Uh, wait a second. What I do... My cousin Tommy, who's this total badass as a kid, he, turned, he, he became a priest. He can fit us in between services, maybe. Uh, we can't just follow this guy on Christmas Eve and ask him to come. Sure we can, that's what families are for. I'm gonna call him right now. All set.
You're kidding. No, he said he would perform the ceremony. Wow. I guess miracles really do happen. Hey, I'm sensing a, a total lack of enthusiasm on your part. No. I mean, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. It's just, um, I don't know, I just got sad a little. Sad? Sort of wedding. Sad about us getting married in the end or something? No, it, it's... Not you, it's just that it's not exactly how I imagined it would be. All right, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You mentioned my mother because you thought I'd like to have her there, and I didn't even, didn't even think to include your family. Is that why you're being hesitant? You, you want your family there? That crossed my mind. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, no, forget it. We'll, we'll wait till we get back. I'll call Tommy. No, honestly, what's the point? My, my family isn't even really available. I'm not even on good terms with my dad, and even if I was on good terms with him, he's cynical and he doesn't believe in the institution of marriage. No, I'm just lucky. Yeah, he's been a mess since Siobhan died, and Nicholas is in Greece, and Ethan's running around Windermere. What about Carly? I mean, she's your cousin. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want anyone who doesn't wish us well at our wedding. You don't think she would wish us well? No. She would pretend to, and I don't want to celebrate our wedding that way. So that's just us? So that's us part. your heart set on your cousin performing the ceremony, but... My what? I'm not that big on religious symbols and Oh, is, do you think this is too Catholic? I don't know, it seems a little stiff and formal, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, yo, Tommy! Yeah. Stud, my man. Let's go for it. Stud? <laughs> Did you just call him Stud? Well, that's what we called him back in high school, because he was such a... I was a good poker player. Right. Uh, this is my brand new Daniel Spencer, obviously. Lulu. Hi. Pleasure. I hope my cousin gets down on his knees every day and thanks God for you putting up with him. I do make sure he appreciates me. And so, you two ready to tie the knot? We are. We got the marriage license ready to go and thank you again for doing this. Hey, no trouble at all. You know, dance card's free until midnight mass. It'd be my pleasure. Stud. <laughs> I think we're good to go. All right, well, I'm going to put a couple of things together and see you two at the altar. Well, he's unexpected. Jay, you feel a little more relaxed? A little. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This, this is your last chance to back out. We made this decision together. No, I just, I want to make sure it's really what you want. Are you having second thoughts? No. no. No, I'm not. I've been sure about us forever. Okay, then shut up and marry me. Dad, Angela Falcon, you gotta give your mother more than an hour's advice and then you're getting married. You complain? No, I am not. I'm the happiest woman on the face of the earth right now. Honey, this is the best Christmas present you've ever me. Yeah. 